Today I received a package from Plantable and I am going to open it up and we're going to unbox it together. I'm trying to like hide it so you can't see my address. So it comes with this package. It tells you what's in it I think. I'm going to read this later. And then it comes in this. white lentil tomato and fennel faux soto. That sounds really good because I love risotto. I'm assuming that's what that is. This one is chana masala and if you know me you know I love Indian food. And then I also got the quintessential quinoa quiche which sounds freaking delicious. And I got the Indian spice brown rice. That'll be super good with the chana masala. So I can't wait to try these out, and a huge thank you to Clantable for sending me these. Okay, so I never eat quiches and I never make them at home, so I'm not entirely sure what it's supposed to taste like. From what it looks like, I think there's like maybe like kale or spinach or something. There's definitely some quinoa it looks like, some carrots or peppers maybe, and I'm assuming there's probably turmeric in it since it's like pretty yellow, but let's do a taste test. It was pretty crumbly after taking it out of the um, air fryer though, just an FYI. Mmm. That's really good. It's really flavorful. I left it a little bit in there. <laughs> I left it in there a little bit longer, so it's pretty crispy on the edges, but still pretty like soft on the inside. I don't even know what I would compare it to. You can definitely, I mean, you definitely know it's like veggie, but it's really good for being plant-based. There's sunflower seeds in here. 10 out of 10 would recommend, definitely get this. It's really good. Okay, so for dinner tonight, I'm going to be making the chana masala. Please don't come at me if I'm saying that wrong. And the Indian spiced brown rice. So the directions are super interesting. Being Asian, I guess I find it interesting, but it says that you're supposed to remove the label and boil in bag until hot, three to four minutes. I've never boiled rice in a bag before we always just use the rice cooker but first time for everything and then for the chana masala i did let this sit in the fridge to thaw for one day um that is what the directions say and then it says to prep you warm gently in a stovetop pot and then you enjoy it with the spiced brown rice that sounds simple enough i have a pot here that i'm going to put the chana masala in and then have a littler pot with some water that I'm gonna boil the rice in. Okay, so I turned on both of them on medium high heat. I'm gonna remove the paper and so I guess I'm gonna put it in and then just I'm gonna submerge it. I'm gonna leave a little bit out so I can still hold it and then just wait till it boils. And then same thing here. I'm just gonna put the chana masala in and let it boil.
just realized it probably would have been interesting for you to see how I plate my food. So basically I just waited till the bag was like kind of cool so I could open it. The rice is still pretty warm. I put it down like that. And now I'm gonna just layer in on this side. I like how they put green peas in here so that it makes it look like pretty or like vibrant. So that's what I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna go ahead and set up and take pictures and I'll actually show you what I do. So I just made this sign. Um, this is the brand that I'm working with. This is what I'm having and I just did a little thing just to cover up the space. I'm gonna put the bowl here. And I okay, so I just wanted to show you this is a beach towel. I got it from, I think all these for like maybe $14.99 but I know they sell it like pretty much everywhere and you can probably find it for cheaper now. But I'm laying this down, I have my chalkboard. It's kind of hard to see, honestly, so I might have to like edit it. Here's my bowl, and I'm gonna just try and take photos now. I'm gonna do a little BTS, because this is a one-woman show, and it's kind of a struggle sometimes when you gotta be your own videographer, photographer, artist. Okay, and then let me just do a quick taste test for y'all. Mm. I've actually never had chana masala, but I've had Indian food. Oh, there's a kick. It's a little spicy. It's pretty good.